Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel. Hi, I'm SMATX, and today we have a really great question, x to the power x to the power 3 equal to 36. And a lot of students confused about this expression on the left side, because we don't have like x cube, we have x to the power x to the power 3, which turns into a big argument. A lot of students don't know how can we how can we solve this challenge, and in this video I'm going to fully explain you how can you do this correctly and step by step. But before solving this challenge, you can easily pause the video and write your solution, write your notes about this challenge down into the comment section, it will be a really interesting interesting to check up answers in the end of the video because this is a very like tricky question. Okay, so first of all here is our question and before solving this challenge I want to write this really important property. So take a look closely what do we have right here. For example we have a to the power x and we raise this expression to the power to the power y. Everyone know this property from school, everyone know this property because this is like very important power rule from here and as a result if we raise a to the power x we raise to the power y we will have like a to the power x times y. Everyone know about it, yeah? But in the same way, because this is a product, so we can easily swap this, this expression, so we can easily write it as a to the power y times x. It changed nothing, but take a look closely. We have a to the power y times x. And according to this property in a reverse way, we can write this one as a to the power y raised to the power raised to the power x, okay? And right now, if you look closely, what do we have right here? We have all the time equal sign. In the beginning, we have a to the power x times y, x to the power y, and in the end, we have a to the power y raised to the power x. So, saying in other words, we can easily swap this, this expression, x and y, and as a result, it will be like the same expression because we have all the time, all the time equal sign. And right now, let's use this tricky move according to this, according to this question. So, first of all, let's rewrite our question. So, what do we have right here? x to the power x to the power 3 equal to 36. So here's our question. And right now, let's raise both sides to the power 3. Okay, let's do this right now. Let's raise both sides to the power 3. On the left side, we have x to the power x to the power 3. We're gonna raise this left side to the power 3, which is equal to 36 to the power 3. It changed obviously nothing because we raised both sides to this power. So on the left side we raised to the third power and on the right side. But right now let's look closely what do we have right here. Let's look on this left expression on the left side and let's look at this at this property. So right here we have x and we have our a. But we have x cube. For example, this is our x. And we have 3. This is our y. So saying in other words, we can easily swap this swap this 3 and swap this x cube. According to this property, according to this rule, we can easily swap the, this y goes inside parenthesis, this x goes outside. And let's you let's do this rule right here on the on the left side. Let's do this right now. So as a result, what do we have right here? x, this 3 goes inside, and this x cube goes outside, okay? Parenthesis. So we have x cube raised to the power x to the power to the power 3, okay? Equal to equal to 36 36 cube. Really great. And right now, let's leave this expression on the left side. Let's look closely at this expression on the right side. Let's write this 36 as 6 square. Okay, we can easily do this. It changed nothing, obviously. Let's do this right now. So we have x cube to the power x cube on the left side. Okay. And on the right side, let's write this 36 as 6 square. Okay, so 6, we have square and obviously raised to the power 3 raised to the power 3. Really great. Right now, these two can be multiplied with this 3. If you wanted to raise this 6 squared to the power 3, we can easily write it as 6 to the power 2 times 3 equal to equal to 6. Okay, so let's do this right now. So we have as a result, we have x cube to the power x to the power 3 equal to this 6 square equal to 36, but we don't need this to raise to the power second. We need to multiply 2 times 3 because we wanted to write this one as 6 to the power 2 times 3 equal to equal to 6. And right now maybe the key moment to this challenge because because, because we have on the left side we have x cube to the power x cube. And if you look closely, this is same base and same exponent. But if you look closely on the right side, we have absolutely the same thing. We have absolutely the same base and same exponent. So maybe someone don't understand about this x cube to the power x cube. Let's, for example, call this a cube, for example, as a. Okay? If someone under don't understand it, we will have on the left side, we have a to the power a. Yeah? Because we have absolutely the same expression on the as a base and as a power. So as a result, we have a to the power a equal to 6 
to the power 6. And this equation will have root only in one case, when base equal to base or exponent equal to exponent. But we have absolutely the same base and the same exponents, okay? So only one case, a equal to 6. But in our case, a equal to a equal to x cubed. So we will have only, only one, only one solution. As a result, we have x cube, x cube equal to, equal to 6. This is a very tricky move. I hope you understand this step. So we have same base, same exponent, same base, same exponent. So x cube equal to 6, okay? Because we, we will need to have like the same base on the both side and they need to have the same power on the both side because we, we are solving an equation, okay? So x cube equal to 6 and from here, x cube equal to 6 and x equal to cubes root of 6 cubes root of 6. And a lot of students like don't trust me to this uh, to this uh, solution and for those who don't trust me I can easily show a um, uh, proof to this challenge let's check our root and then we will say okay this is a correct solution so for this for this part let's check our root let's prove let's prove our solution let's do that so we have prove let's prove our our solution in the beginning we have x to the power x to the power 3 equal to 36 but our x right here equal to cubes root of 6. Okay, so we found our, our solution. So right now let's plug in this cubes root of 6 to our, to our equation. As a result, we have a long and complicated expression. We have cubes root of 6 as a base. We raise to this cubes root of 6 power and we raise this to the power to the power 3. I want to say one really interesting trick. We need to raise this from the from the this side to this side, like from the from the top power to the bottom power. Okay, so from the top from the top to the bottom. And as a result, this is equal to, let's try to simplify first of all this expression. As a result, we leave this cubes root of 6 as a base, cubes root of 6, and we need to evaluate this expression. Let's write it in a fraction way. A lot of students like like more this uh, fraction way, not like a square root right here, like, like cubes root. Let's write this cubes root of 6 as 6 to the power, like 1 third, okay? 6 to the power 1 third. This is our cubes root of 6 and we raise this cubes root of 6 to the power to the power 3 okay to the power 3 which is equal to right now let's leave this cubes root of 6 right here so cubes root of 6 and right now 6 to the power of 1 third raised to the power 3 1 third times 3 equal to 1 so as a result our power equal to only 1 so as a result we have 6 as a power and once more let's do this trick this is a cubes root of 6, we can write it as 6 to the power 1 third, absolutely the same thing, okay, equal to, we can easily write it as 6 to the power 1 third raised to the power 6. And the last thing right here, 6 to the power 1 third times 6, let's write it, let's write this expression, and as a result we can easily cancel this 3 and this 6, and as a result we have, we have 2, this is like 6 divided by 3 equal to 2. So we have 6 to the power 2 equal to equal to 36. Yes, this is really great. Our root is absolutely correct. So our answer is absolutely correct. So as you can see, we prove if we prove our, our root right here. Right now, the final thing, let's write our final answer. And for those who like, mm, like interested in, in all real number roots right here, a lot of students ask me, what about like all real roots right here? Maybe we'll have like more real roots. We have x cube right here. Maybe we'll have like a lot of roots right here. So for those, I want to show you this plot right here. You can also see these two graphs, x to the power x to the power 3 and 36, which is a constant. So as a result, we have one point of intersection. Okay, so as you can see, this is like a proof. We have only one, only one root x equal to cubes root cubes root of six what about complex root i don't know exactly because we don't know what will happen in infinity in terms of infinity but in terms of real number root we have only one only one solution which is which is really great i think a lot of students like prefer real number roots not like a complex root because this is like more convenient to solve this challenge in real number roots and in complex root this is like another part of this another part of this question because we like we don't know what will happen in terms of in terms of infinity but in terms of real number root we know everything so let's write our let's write our final answer to this question let's write our final answer so our x equal to cubes root of six cubes root of 6. Maybe someone interested in approximately answer. We don't need this x actually right here, but maybe someone interested x approximately equal to 1.8082. So this is our our solution to this 
to this question. We proved this question before. So I hope you, I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learn something new. This is like very tricky question, and uh, I want to see your approach into the in the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about your approach. This is my approach. Maybe tricky approach because this is not like a general approach. Maybe we, it, this approach works only in this case. For example, if we have like, mm, let's write it. For example, right here, if we have x x to the power x, for example, 3, but not 36 on the right side, for example, like 25, something like that. We can solve this challenge according to according to this approach. This is not like a general approach to this question. This is really important. Not, note from me, because, uh, yeah, this is looks like that. And it happened that right here we have 6 to the power 6, which helps us a lot in terms of, in terms of this tricky method. But in terms of mm, this method, we can solve, for example, this question. Okay, so as you can see, this method works only in this, in this case, only to this question. This is like a minus to this, uh, to this, uh, to this question because generally we don't know about about the method but according to this question as you can see we solved exactly this question so uh, we uh, used this this method which is like really great according to this according to this question so thank you for your time thank you for your support see you in the next videos also write a question down into the comment section write your notes about this question it will be really interesting to read about it thank you for your time much love and respect for everyone have a great day and see you in the next videos